Welcome to Level Up Your Writing, presented by the Warminster Township Free Library. In our last video, I talked about the different types of point of view and gave you some things to think about when it comes to deciding which type to use in your story. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about how you can use point of view to control the flow of information to your reader or to your characters. One of the first things you should be thinking about when starting a story is to decide who is telling it or in other words, which character or characters you will focus your perspective on. While you, the writer, may know everything about every character, your reader will only know what you put on the page. This means that if you are telling a story in first-person point of view or in third-person limited, your reader will only be able to know what the character knows or reveals. If you want your reader to know something, your character will also need to know it. However, you can get around this by utilizing multiple perspectives. As discussed in the last video, you can jump around between characters to show multiple sides of a story, as long as you make sure to avoid confusing or frustrating your reader. So if you want your reader to know something, but want the character to remain unaware, reveal that information from another character's point of view. By either switching points of view or by using third-person omniscient, you can create a situation where the reader knows more than the character does. This creates suspense as the reader waits for the character to learn what they already know. Sometimes this can create tragic irony in cases where your reader knows something bad has happened or is about to happen and is unable to do anything but watch as the character learns the truth. On the other hand, you can also go the other way around and create a situation where the character knows more than the reader. When you do this in first-person point of view, you can have the narrator hold back some details as they tell the story. And this is the basic foundation for how to create an unreliable narrator. So you can see that using point of view to intentionally hold back details, you are able to reveal them at the most impactful moments in your story. However, it also means you need to keep track of what information everyone in the story, including your reader, is in possession of. You'll want to occasionally go back through your writing to make sure you're only revealing what the character actually knows. Think about your character's limitations, too. This is especially important in first-person point of view, as you're seeing the world through their eyes, not another character or yourself. So keep an eye out for places where you may have accidentally given a character information or opinions they wouldn't normally have. And this is why I suggest that you think hard about your points of view. For what purpose are you switching? What does this new character's perspective reveal that the other one could not? And when you're using multiple perspectives, how do you even decide whose perspective to focus on in a scene in the first place? One way is to consider which information you want your reader to know, which information you don't want them to know, and then think about which points of view will best help you reveal or conceal that information. Another way is to figure out which character has the most to gain, lose, or learn in the chapter or scene. Whichever character has the highest stakes is likely to be the character whose thoughts and reactions will be the most interesting or exciting. With that said, it's time to move on to this week's writing exercise. This week's writing exercise will give you a chance to play around with point of view and test out how switching up a perspective can give your reader different information. Take a conversation scene that is written in either first-person point of view or third-person limited. Then write that same conversation from the perspective of the other character in the conversation. What changes? What does one character notice or pick up on versus the other? What does the reader learn from the switch that's different from the other point of view? Our next video will give you some more, more ways to help you create interesting conversations by thinking about how you can use body language in your writing.